I got a PVT on Belshire Prestige. Yeah. New map is a little interesting map. Yeah. Down to the bottom right, we have our pink Protoss EXE Dason. And to the top left, we got our green Terran from EXE Immortal Master Big. Or Big, I don't know. <laughs> Master Big, I don't know really, yeah. really how to pronounce that, but uh, the score right now is 1 0 for EXE Defiler. As uh, NRD overtook. Uh, Death Star in the first game. So, um, we're gonna see here what uh, Dizon and uh, Master Big are able to pull off. I believe both of these guys are platinum level players. So, we should see some uh, some interesting Actually, uh, I think Dizon was silver or something. Uh, he's silver on DNA server, but on uh, EU, he's platinum. Ah, oh, okay. At least that's if I remember correctly. Um, I doubt they would send out a, a solar player, the Viler, they're a pretty high level team. Yeah. And so, early scout for um, Master Big pick. Yeah. No wall in for Dizon. Very interesting map, quite a few attack paths on this map. Not easy to defend your se your second base. Um, it should be interesting. You might see some uh, some pretty crazy tactics here. All right, SCV cap scouting a day zone. Yeah. Nothing to report yet. It is pretty early in the game. Other than the fact that he does not have a wall up, which does indicate most likely some pretty standard play cybercore does go down at the regular timing yeah looks like uh i don't know maybe an no expand build for master Pair. yeah no gases so we're probably gonna go see us see this command center yeah uh, very quickly or master they can days on just on going with that gas yeah I think we're going to go see a one gate expand, probably the most likely here. Um, it could go be. From days on. Chrono boosting a stalker out, interestingly. Take out that SCV. Yep. And command center goes down for Mastabic, I think, right about now. Nope, two gases. Interesting. And the command mm. center. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he wants to take up really fast for a factory and stop up, I think. Could be, yeah. Some very early start work play. Maybe drops. Could be Banshee play. Somewhat less popular in HOTS, obviously. Because of that uh, Mothership score detection uh, ability. Or is it. No, no, it can't is it detect detection no. ability. No. No, it can't. Okay, it used to be able to. Really think it has. Oh. No, I don't think it does either. No, it doesn't. I'm, I'm an idiot. Sorry, I'm still in beta. <laughs> I haven't really played Protoss much. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna see some mothership core harass here. Pretty effective, honestly. Yeah. The stalker getting enough one kill on that. It's um, really strong in the, against every race. Oh. Uh, and he's gonna get that down. SCV. Oh, he could have gotten the SCV. Yeah. That's really unfortunate. In fact, if he just walked past, he could have gotten two SUVs. Or two low health SUVs right there. And now we see the Mothership Core going through the main. The turn player. Yeah. Mothership could maybe take core one, is. one uh, SUV down, maybe. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous, though, because Mothership Core is rather rather slow. The SUV Marines are completely out of position. Yeah, but Luckily, maybe the so Stalker can go in now. Because the Marines of the Bunkers are gone now from the natural. And it is yeah, moving in. Right. Right. He is hiding a probe in there. See that right there? So this could be some uh, some shenanigans uh, going on later in the game. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little pile on there. Maybe a zealot warping. Yeah, 
could be. Mastabic does not see that probe, it's literally just right outside of its uh, vision range. And Dayson is going for a stargate, so most likely some Ether Phoenix, White Base, or Oracles. Yeah, or Oracles are really effective start. in the other game. Very, very effective indeed. Here's the whole thing. Um, what he's okay, preparing for it is, now, so. Yeah, yeah. I think he scanned, he's, yeah. he's seen the Stargate going up. Hmm, no, he hasn't scanned. Oh. So he doesn't really know. Was she an Oracle being built now? I guess people just assume Stargate now. Yeah. Such a, so many protests do it. Really good, so. um, yeah, oversaturated on his natural, that's no good. Not a single STD on the main, not great either. Um, I think he needs to sort of re even out his uh, mineral lines there a little. Some water mines in front of oh, the, or some cellars are in the main. Yeah, I saw that coming. If they can, if they can tap. No SCVs there. Yeah. The water mine is going to. Oh, it's, it's just out of the range of that water mine. That's very unfortunate. The it's running around. Are they actually going to get out of here now? They're not. No. Of course, you could use, you could use the, the Oracle and attack the team. Yeah, but with that. That's true, he could have used the Oracle for the time. I think an Oracle could take down four Marines by itself. Pretty effective. Mm. And still no STDs up there, which uh, is pretty unfortunate based on, but he does know now that that Widow Mine has been used up. Um, he could do some damage with this uh, Oracle quickly, take out a couple of SCVs, yeah, that's what he's going for. Mm. I wouldn't go for the missile trade, I'd just aim for SCVs if I land. That, that, uh, Widow Mine is ready once again. And, uh, all the Marines are coming in and it goes down. That's right, very second Widow Mine, though. Oh. They're all just in the, uh, Metro. Yeah. Huge supply block for Master Dick right now, but if we look at the, uh, at the supply tabs right now, we see 84 for Dazon and, uh, 46. For Master Vic, this is not good news for Master Vic. Look at that army he's got going on. Two of models, eight stalkers, and another oracle. That's going to be really, really scary for Master Vic. He has nothing to hold this off right now. Yeah. And Dayson is going for Robotic Bay, so we will see sli slightly some uh, two base or all in, I think. Two base timing, maybe, with the clusters. Yeah. I'd like to see how much time in this game Master Big spent supply blocks because it's, uh, I'm sure it's quite a bit. Yeah. And that 46 supply really put him uh, behind. And he mislanded that starport, that's really unfortunate. It's not on the reactor. Yeah. <laughs> nope, still not there. And he hasn't killed the, the pylon in the main base three, yet. Took him three tries. And yeah, the pylon is still there. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some DT nonsense maybe later in the game. Yeah. Could be. Although I doubt the game will actually go that long considering the supply difference. Colossus tech coming up now. Extended thermal ads on the way. Um, upgrades only now starting, but uh, yeah. he's very far ahead already. Indeed. And he's getting the third base down now as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Pretty decent timing in that third base. Lots of cannons being placed defensively here. A lot, yeah. <laughs> he really wants to keep the base alive. Yeah, that was, uh, I think, uh, a bit of an overinvestment there, but uh, that's alright. That's alright. Yeah. Do you think he moves out on two closes or does he wait? Um, if I were him, I'd move 
about right now, but obviously he doesn't have as much information about what's going on in the terror base as I do. Um, really no reason to wait right now. The Colossus outranged the bunkers. It's going to be pretty easy for him to move through. There isn't a single Viking out yet. But he appears to be determined to get to uh, 200 supply before he does anything. Oh, oh no, he's going out right now. All right. Yeah. And he scans, but he doesn't really get anything. Yeah, that's not a great scan. Doesn't even see robotics tech. He sees just basically what he knew was already there. Yeah, if he just had scanned with the natural, he would just see that, seeing that uh, that were Colossus, and he was on the way to space. So. Yeah, very good micro micro by days on so far. I would have liked to see a high templar transition maybe at this point of the game. He just has a lot of gas which could go into Archon and really yeah, sort of confuse. He's going for but the Twilight Council now, so. Oh yeah. Maybe he's, he but wants to be. Yeah. Twilight Council is late. Little mines are being dropped. They're going to be used defensively here. And uh, I think this is going to be it for the Master who is at 95 supply, although he is defending this rather well. Yeah, the Widow Vines are doing a lot of damage. Bit. Very true. But uh, yeah, looks like this is going to be in. Two Immortals are still alive, two Colossi are still alive. There's absolutely no way that Master Bake is going to hold this. No, no, no. He even has 2,400 uh, minerals in the bank. Yeah. You don't really have the production to give it up. Very solid play by David. Worked a little bit on army control, but uh, otherwise it's a uh, very solid natural play. It's completely outbuilt and uh, yeah. outmaneuvered Master Big. So another good win for. Uh, for Team Defilo to choose zero on Team Immortal. Yeah, GG. GG indeed. GG indeed. All right. And Actually, we will come right back. Starboard. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll come right back with uh, with the third game of Immortal versus Defile.